Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my nighttime routine, what products I use to get my makeup off and my shower routine, what shampoo I use, body wash and all that good stuff. And yeah, I thought it'll be a little different to do. I am still recovering from fever, but I'm feeling much, much better. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you wanna know what products I use, please keep on watching. So to remove my makeup, I'm going to take this Nivea Cleansing Milk. Um, it's a cheaper alternative for a makeup remover. Usually they are so expensive and they come in such tiny bottles. And if I had to use those um, tiny bottles, it would get over like literally in days. So I used this. It's a very mild and amazing cleansing milk. It gets all your makeup off like you can see on the cotton. So I use this to get rid of my face makeup. And then I go in with the regular makeup remover from Maybelline, which you will see right now. I'm taking the Total Clear Clean Express by Maybelline and I'm going to take off my eye and lip makeup. So if you have any stubborn makeup, you want to keep the cotton like the way I'm doing for a bit and wait for the makeup remover to break your makeup down and then you want to, you know, start removing it slowly. Um, don't be harsh on your eyes you want to go with a really soft hand because again you don't want to pull and tug on your skin since it causes wrinkles so you want to stay away from that so all you want to do is just you know gently get rid of your makeup and I use a three-step process when I get rid of my makeup you think the makeup remover is doing all the job for you but no it's not you have to get a toner and you know repeat again because there will be some residue lying somewhere so I'm gonna go in with my Himalaya toner there are tons of toners in the market but I love this one it's really refreshing and all you need is a couple of drops on the cotton and now I'm just you know getting rid of any excess that's on my face and you see there is a lot on my face remaining like you think makeup removers will do it for you but they don't so you have to cleanse and tone your skin at the same time So this is just to show you how much gunk came out of it even after using two makeup removers. Now for my hair, um, I always check to see if my hair's grown a little longer because you know I love long hair. Um, it's been two days since I had a hair shower so I thought why not take you guys through the process. Um, I have naturally thick hair, it's just a bit straightened and curled towards the end for a shoot but otherwise yep it's been a while so let's get into um, you know the shower. But before that, I'm going to cleanse my face a little bit more. I'm taking the Kama Ayurveda Rose and Jasmine Face Cleanser. This acts as a mild makeup remover um, as well. So I'm just taking that and making sure all the makeup is out of my face. You guys know I'm obsessed with um, cleaning my face post, you know, getting my makeup off. That's what I always do, making sure there's no residue behind, left on my skin basically. Uh, and I'm just, um, yeah, washing it. It's a really mild face wash. And then I'm going to go in with another face wash that is the Garnier Pure Active Neem Foaming Face Wash. It's really good. Um, I love this. I've mentioned this a couple of times in my videos earlier. This has just, it basically keeps you away from acne and all that good stuff. Like, I really like this mild face wash. I don't go crazy into skincare but this is one face wash that works for me now I'm gonna jump into the shower and I'm using the Lux body wash this is so good I use this for a year straight it's my favorite body wash ever nothing compares to it um, for shampoo I'm using the um, Wella Elements shampoo I got this from Nika and I thought why not give it a shot it's quite expensive but I'm like just you know let's give it a shot they sent it to me so you know, I said, I want to try it because I never ever use any other shampoo other than the L'Oreal Black and Pink, the anti-hair fall one and the Tresemme conditioner have been my favorite combination and I will still go back to that after this. But I surprisingly love this shampoo. I'm going in with the same um, Elements hair mask. This is amazing for your hair. Um, I will list everything down below so you can see, you know, if you want it. It's quite pricey, but your hair smells like you know when you go to a spa and a salon and basically they wash it for you it always smells like a dream that's how your hair smells and it's amazing so after that I'm just going to uh, tie my hair in like you know this towel thingy and keep it I don't tug on it or dry it with my towel nothing I just let it be there for a bit and to moisturize my skin I'm using St. Ives this has been my most favorite moisturizer ever and this bottle has lasted me so long 
I use quite a generous amount of my skin and I massage it into my skin really nicely. It's non-comedogenic and everything. It's really good. So yeah, you just want to massage that under your eye and everywhere you can. Um, so yeah, make sure you're putting that down your neck and everywhere. And yeah, um, to top it off, I'm going to take this toner, which is again by Kama Ayurveda. It's the rose water. You guys know how much I love this. It's my second bottle. And I'm just going to spritz this all over my face for, you know, basically hydration. I have very dry skin, so I let that settle. And then I got rid of my towel and I'm going to let my hair air dry. And moving on to my body, I'm taking the Nivea lotion and I'm just going to put that all over my body, my, you know, torso, my arms, my feet, my leg, everywhere. So your skin stays nice and moisturized and doesn't crack through the night. And then I'm going to top it off with another one. It's the Nika body lotion. I've mentioned this on my Instagram. I love this body lotion. It smells like a tropical island, like Hawaii. Basically, it's very aqua fragrance. It's beautiful. You want to smell nice when you're going to bed. Um, and I use, obviously, lip balm. <laughs> yeah, all three lip balms. But I'm going to use the Kama Ayurveda one. It's the Rose and Jasmine Essential. It is so good. It literally feels so hydrating. I always put a lip balm before I go to bed. Then for my hair, I'm going to take the Argan Oil. It's a Moroccan oil. And I'm just going to put that on the ends of my hair. You just need a very little amount. And I'm just going to take it towards the end of my hair. So obviously not on your roots because again it's going to get oily. So just towards the end and midsection that's it. Since I have wavy hair it is kind of frizzy. So I take the Bee Blunt um, anti-frizz control thing. And I just pump two pumps. And then I put that um, again not on my scalp. But on my you know ends of my hair midsection. This really helps my hair stay anti-frizz thing <laughs> so yeah this is all i do for my skin body and hair so i hope this helped and yeah i'm ready for bed So yeah, that was my nighttime routine and that's all I do with my hair. However, the products I use on my hair are amazing. The shampoo, conditioner, argan oil and the leave-in serum from Be Blunt. Not serum, I think it is. But the leave-in cream from Be Blunt. Um, they are amazing, trust me. This is how my hair looks. It's sort of wavy. I have wavy hair, not straight, not curly, which is a big problem. Obviously, I did straighten my crown portion, like just my front portion. I do that all the time. Uh, but the rest of my hair is not frizzy at all, actually. It's really nice. Those two really help the hair settle and calm down. Um, obviously, if you don't want to use such an expensive shampoo, um, it is a really expensive shampoo. You can use the L'Oreal black and pink shampoo and any tresemme conditioner is amazing for your hair um, obviously after this gets over i'm going to switch back to my usual um, l'oreal and tresemme conditioner but i just wanted to give this uh, a go and i thought it, it's a brilliant shampoo it smells like a spa like you know how you get your hair wash at a salon uh, these are meant for salons actually um, but they smell so good and your hair literally smells like like a dream <laughs> so all the products mentioned in the video are in the description box and where you can buy them so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video peace